It is the 20th of the 8th, 2011. Uh, it's after midnight here. I worked late tonight. If anybody can find video to this story, I would love to see it. Marine researchers in South Africa had a narrow escape after three meter long great white shark breached the surface of the sea and leapt onto their boat, becoming trapped on the deck for more than an hour. The incident occurred while a research team was conducting a shark population study off Seal Island near Mosul Bay on South Africa's Cape Coast. Using sardines as bait to attract the predators, the seven strong crew was able to observe four great whites. The animals are renowned locally for bursting through the surface as they prey on the seals, and we've all seen videos of this. Doreen Schroeder, team leader at Oceans Research, based at Mosul Bay, said that last Monday morning, after more than an hour of shark activity around the, ve the vessel, the cheetah, the waters at the stern had been quiet for five minutes. The next thing I know, I heard a splash and see a white shark breach out of the water from the side of the boat, hovering literally over the crew member who was chumming, throwing the food bait into the water on the port side, she said. Schroeder recounted how she pulled her colleague to safety before the shark, weighing about 500 kilograms, about a thousand pounds, landed on top of the bait and fuel containers as half of his body was outside of the boat, but in a panic the shark thrashed its way further onto the vessel, cutting the fuel lines and damaging equipment before, before coming trapped between the containers and the stern. The crew found safety at the bow of the boat. As Schroeder poured water over the shark's gills to keep it alive, another boat was sent out to the cheetah. A rope from the second vessel was secured around the shark's tail, but repeated efforts to tow the fish into the water failed. The rescue ship then towed the cheetah back to port with the shark still on deck. Uh, the hose pipe was placed in the fish's mouth to ventilate its gills, of course, before it was lifted off the boat with a the crane, then lowered back into the water. Though the shark swam away, it was unable to navigate its way out of the harbor and soon beached. With Ocean's researcher's co-director, an expert on great white sharks, the team tried unsuccessfully to walk the shark back to the sea. Finally, they tied ropes to the shark's tail fin behind its uh, pectoral fin and attached these ties to the rescue vessel, which towed the shark out through the harbor estuary. The ropes were then removed and the animal swam away. Genaria said it was the first time he had heard of a great white shark jumping into a researcher's vessel. He estimated the predator would have at least been about three meters out of the water to be able to land on the boat. A smaller vessel would have capsized, he said. And as for the cause of the shark's behavior, uh, Gennari said it was almost certainly an incident rather than an attack on the boat. In low visibility water, fish could have mistaken the vessel's shadow for prey or been disrupted by another shark close by, he said. It's all speculation, he said, but sometimes the shark breaches the surface when it feels another shark is underneath it. They move like a flying fish and up several meters away. Absolutely insane. So it had a happy ending. The shark, you know, went back to its business and whatever, and uh, the researchers had one heck of a story. Again, I would love to see video on this if you can find it. Uh, please attach it, or at least send me that way. Enjoy what you can, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.